Hi all, welcome to Irvin History. Uh, it's me, Irvin. I went down to the club today uh, to play in the Italy-themed event, and so uh, I even recorded some after-turn action reports of the game I played. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd get this video up on the channel. If you haven't seen my community post, I've uh, had, <laughs> well, let's say I've spent around $4,000 on my health in the last few days. So, yeah, I've not had time to edit together our big videos, which I do have a couple put together. So, yeah, I just thought I'd put together this one and, uh, yeah, let you guys enjoy uh, a look at the club that I game at. Uh, if you're in Australia, in Sydney, uh, Western Front, um, look it up on Facebook. You'll find it. It's in West Ride. Uh, amazing club, and I hope to see you there. Anyway, here's the game I played. All right, hey guys, welcome to Urban History. I'm here at uh, the club for uh, the Italy event. So I'm set up on this table. Um, yeah, we're gonna get into it. A um, couple of things, we got some booby traps. Some of them are fake, some of them are real. My Panzer IV is immobilized at the start of the game, can't move. Uh, and all the Panzerfausts I have can only fire at half range. So this is gonna be fun, 900 points against 1,500. Let's go. So, end of turn one, not much has happened. My opponent, Eilish, has moved most of her army onto the field, and uh, all my shots, all, all of them except one missed. My medium mortar team hit these guys here. Uh, so at the start of turn two, I've got my medium howitzer and the two machine guns uh, on ambush. We're gonna get into it. So, turn two's over, and it's been a bit of a damaging run for the Germans. Uh, Eilish has brought on almost her entire force. I think it's just a light mortar in reserve that failed to come on. My guys in the bunker here are on two pins. My sniper team was killed off of these guys advancing, hitting on sevens, rolling, I think, four, five, sixes in a row. Uh, so rest in peace, sniper team. We're going to get into turn three. So we've just finished up turn number three, about to go into turn four. Um, yeah, so... Effectively, she's uh, decimated this squad down to two guys with lots of pins. Uh, the squad in the bunker over there got rid of one of their pins. This uh, squad then got hit by the artillery barrage. They took one pin, and the Panzer IV has taken three pins from that. But the Panzer IV did manage to immobilize this Sherman. So, not everything's going terribly for Germany. We're going to get into turn four. So we just finished turn four and Eilish's British have effectively moved halfway up the table, uh, avoiding what could be a booby trap, what might be a fake booby trap, who knows. Uh, the Panzer IV got three pins from the artillery barrage but managed to shake them off. And uh, effectively the Germans just missed all their shooting again. So the elite of the German army, the Fallschirmjäger, are not. We're going to jump into turn five. One thing I forgot to mention was Eilish wiped this squad off the table, so they are dead. I'm down to six dice against 14. <laughs> All right, end of turn five. Uh, a lot of Eilish's Brits are now halfway up the table. In fact, over there, the Humber has almost got off the table. Uh, yeah, some pretty bad pins onto the Germans, and again, they're not really being effective, except for this turn. This squad in the bunker killed two guys from that paratrooper squad. So we're going to get into turn six and things are hopefully going to get hairy for the British, but we'll see. End of turn number six. This is an 11 turn game. Uh, yeah, Eilish's light mortars have dropped two smokes, uh, making it difficult for the German pillboxes to see anything. Uh, the Humber here is probably about to annihilate the poor... Uh, LG 105 or whatever it's called. I can't remember now that I'm thinking on the spot. Um, yeah, a lot more German dead, not as much British dead. Uh, yeah, it's going hard for the Fallschirmjäger. We'll get into turn seven. So that's the end of the game here. Uh, Eilish has taken away the victory. Uh, yeah, the Germans just kind of whittled down. Uh, we still do have some tur turns to play, but mathematically the Germans lose uh, because at the start of the next turn, Eilish will get more units off the table than the Germans could possibly kill. So, yeah, that's the end of the game there.
fun game. Had a great time at the club. And uh, yeah. So uh, also in attendance at the club today were the guys from Valhalla Games. Um, who put together the amazing Primasol Bridge book. I finally have it. Uh, I'm going to look through it, see what games we can get played from it. I think Dom's, uh, well, they're Aussies, but we can just call them British for Eighth Army. And uh, my Italians will have a great time playing those scenarios. But, um, yeah, so here's uh, a look at their boards that the guys from Valhalla Games have made. As far as I'm aware, this board here with the bridge on it is one-to-one -one accurate. Everything in it is exactly where it was at the actual Battle of Primasol Bridge. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. I'm not sure what battle this one is. I think there was a hill near the bridge. Um, this one, I think, is also one-to-one -one accurate, but I just don't know what it is. But, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and... Um, yeah, please hit the like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And uh, hope to see you on some future videos. Bye.